Hi everyone, welcome to To Pickleball and Beyond. My name is Ryan. My name is Vino. And today we are looking at the Julian Arnold Volaire Mach 1. So Vino, starting off, what are your initial impressions on this pedal? So um, here we have the 16 millimeter and the 14 millimeter. Yep. Um, overall, it really feels like a very nice pedal. Yes. Very um, nice. Flush material. I really enjoyed the grip. I'm I'm really glad more people are going towards this grip. Mm -hmm. um, it has a cushiony feeling to yep. it. Uh, we have now uh, demoed quite a few pedals where that grip is really nice. I really like that. Yep. Um, even the surface of it. I mean, it doesn't scream. It's very simple, but um, well, nicely uh, designed. Um, so the balance of it as well. Yes. I'm fairly impressed. Yeah, it is balanced pretty well. I noticed on so it's funny our 14 millimeter I believe was 8.2 ounces. Two, yep. Where that was a 7.8 ounces yes, yes, I believe. Yes. So I'm not sure if it varies paddle to yes. paddle, but I noticed on this 14 millimeter in particular, it felt a little heavy, but kind of by the handle. But that 16 one, it feels a little more well rounded. Yes, yes. So I don't know if that will relate to the weight of the paddle or the 14 millimeter specific. Yeah. So that's one interesting um, point we noticed between our two that yes. we demoed with. Yes, I think you're point on. So let's go straight into control. Yep. How did you feel the control was on both the 16 and 14 millimeter? So I tried out the 14 first and I was like, this paddle has phenomenal control. I really liked it. it there were paddles that had it beat. And I was like, how's the 16 going to yeah. be? And it's it actually was noticeably even better. The 16 feels it feels it, it really def the 16 nice. definitely feels and plays like a genuine 16 yes. millimeter paddle. Yes. Um, it's like it's a very interesting shape. Yep. I'm not a major fan of the shape. I'm not a major fan of the, yep. the Jula, Jula paddles. Yep. Um, but I was very impressed with the control of it. Yes. Um, 16 definitely had way more control yes, than the definitely. 14, but just even 14 on its own had good control. It did. It did. Just moving back, even resets and speed ups. Mm -hmm. What were your thoughts? Yeah, well, you know, at the 16, it controlling the speed ups, yes. very good at yes. controlling yes. the speed ups. So the 14 definitely did a plenty good yes. job, but yes. that just was a notch or even two notches yes. better at yes. controlling it. But and this then, still was very good. Yes, yeah. still was and, very good. And, nice. and then as soon as you switch the power side, yep. I think this is where it yeah. comes. The, the 14 just shines yeah. a little bit more. Yeah. You could generate way more power. Yeah. Um, your drives just had a little bit more kick yep. in it. Um, your overheads had a little bit more power yeah. to it. Um, so that's where i would say a little bit more yeah i'd but, say i know it's actually a pretty good jump in power yes, i would yes. say there's like i'd put it like one and a half points even yeah, higher yeah. in the power mm -hmm. this this 14 for a 14 millimeter paddle this was hitting yes. pretty hard yes. the 16 yes. hit reasonably hard nothing yes. out yes. of this world mm -hmm. but like the 14 i was like wow i yes. thought lots of power and um spin what do you think about the spin so both paddles um pretty similar um you know just the difference in the thickness i thought it had good spin but not that top tier again. So yes, like, yes. you know, if I had to rate it out of 10, somewhere around like a seven, yes, seven out of 10 yes, spin. Yes, so yes, like yes. generated a good amount of spin, mm -hmm. but nothing where I was like, I've never seen a paddle yes. do that. Before. What about adaptability? We jumped in and I felt great. I know I was hitting third shot yes, drops yes. and resets, you know, just fine with this paddle. I think, it, you know, it's the, that one in particular came very well balanced yes, on the box, yes. the 16 millimeter. Mm -hmm. And with a really nice grip on it, it, it was yeah. phenomenal. For, right for me, I think just picking up the 16 felt very natural. Yep. Um, yep. The 14, again, it's personal preference because yep. I like thicker control paddles. Yep. I had to control myself a little bit. So next question, and I know this is going to be one that's going to come on the comments. How would you compare it to uh, the yeah. Jula? Paddle? So, you know, we've talked about this. It's funny. The Jula, we can't... It's funny, we're both in agreement on it. We think it's the balance on it is just a little odd. It's funny. I think you mentioned you think it's top heavy. Yes. For me, it feels almost bottom heavy. Like the handle just feels really heavy and bulky. And, so and, that's and one just main Even off the box, that yep. comes at 8.5. Okay. Right? That, um, could be a, that could be Yes, a so it is a heavy paddle. Yep. Um, thank you to Jamaris for lending this paddle. Yes. So she has gripped it. So we're going to give yep. it another two ounces. Get what I mean? Um, so overall, that's that's quite a heavy paddle, yep. and it just feels, uh, I don't know, when you hit it, yeah. um, it feels like a very heavy paddle yeah. where like the longer you hit it, it's going to hurt. Yep. The same effect, coming at 7.8, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? 
this feels a little bit more well balanced and well yeah. rounded to me than even the Jula paddle and that's how yeah. I felt. Yeah, so I'll give my thoughts. So I thought the Jula paddle hit harder. Yep. This mm -hmm. thing really yep. is yes. a heavy hit. For how thick it is, I was like, wow, this yes. it that really I would surprised. even say Selkirk Pavaya kind of level. Yeah, but I mean it, it really incredible. hit hard. Yes. Yeah. And then as far as spin, I'm curious your thoughts. I thought I I don't know. With the Jula yes. I had a touch more mm -hmm. spin as well. I would say yes. So a little, a little more, bit more yep. spin than this. Bit of a this, little more yes. spin and power, and honestly, even the control on it was pretty comparable to the Volaris. Yes. But the only thing that threw me off was personally how heavy it was and the balance. Just the seemed balance a little just off. seemed a little bit off. But overall, we really enjoyed uh, demoing the Volaris paddles. Um, a big shout out to Chip Shots again, yes. where we are recording. It's an awesome facility. If you are ever at Rochester, please check Chip Shots out. Um, we enjoyed uh, demoing these paddles. Uh, hopefully, we'll have you join in another paddle review. Thanks Thank for you. joining.